factorize x square minus 2x minus 63 x square plus 18x minus 63 x square minus 62x minus 63. In this video, I wanted to tell the difference between the three. See here, in that step one, whatever number we have here, we should multiply it with the constant. That is minus 63 in this case. Okay, now, next is, I should look out for two numbers such that when I add them, I should get minus I should get minus 2 and I, when I multiply these two, I should get minus 63. Clear? Now see here. 1 times minus 63 is minus 63. Now look out for two numbers such that when I add them, I should get plus 18. And when I multiply these two, I should get minus 63. Clear? Now here. 1 times minus 63 is minus 63. Now I should look out for two numbers such that when I add them, I should get this middle number that is minus 62. And when I multiply these two, I should get minus 63. Clear so far? Now, to get those two numbers, I should take LCM of 63. In each, it is 63. So 3, 2, 1, 3, 7 and 7, 1. Now, to get here 2, that could only happen if the numbers are 3 into 3, 9 and 7. Clear? 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 into 7 is 63. Now here I should get 18. That could only happen if the numbers are 3 and 7, 21 minus 3, 21 minus 3 is 18, 21 into 3 is 63, Underst are you able to understand now? I should get there 62, that could only happen if the two numbers are 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 7, 63 and the second number is 1. Are you able to understand? 63 minus 1 is 62. 63 into 1 is 63. Clear? Now adjust the signs. What I mean is C. Here I should get minus 2. That could only happen if I place minus before 9. Minus 9 plus 7 is minus 2. Minus 9 into 7 is minus 63. Understood? Now here. I should get plus 18. That could only happen if I place minus before 3. 21 minus 3 is plus 18. 21 into minus 3 is minus 63. Now here. I should get here minus 62. That could only happen if I place minus before here. Minus 63 plus 1 is minus 62. Minus 63 into plus 1 is minus 63. Now the signs are also adjusted. Now the next thing. This will change to x square minus 9x plus 7x minus 63. What can I take common from these two? x. You get x minus 9. Here you got x minus 9. So here also it should be x minus 9. From 7x, x is gone inside means outside left is plus 7. If you want, even if you multiply and see, still you get the same answer. Now take x minus 9 common. So here it is left with x and here it is left with plus 7. So this is our answer. Okay. Now here you see. This will change to x square in place of 18x now plus 21x minus 3x minus 63. What can I take common from these two? x. So left leaving you with x plus 21. Here x plus 21 means here also it should be x plus 21. From minus 3x, x has gone inside means outside is minus 3. Even if you multiply and see, still you get the same answer. Okay. Now take x plus 21 common. 
so here left with x and here left with minus 3 thus we have factorized and this is the answer okay now here x square in place of minus 62 x now i will be writing minus 63 x plus 1 x minus 63 what can i take common here x so x minus 63 i get whatever i got here here also i should get the same thing x has gone inside means outside is plus 1 so now take x minus 63 common so here left with x and here left with plus 1 thus i have factorized and this is the answer i wanted you to understand the difference in all three of them once you found these numbers this is easy clear